Saw the scratches, but they just hit too well. Nice. Okay, so today I'm going to be going over my recommended nurse builds for beginners at nurse. So if that's what you're interested in seeing, I'm going to be giving you a build which is no teachables for nurse. So you have nurse's base perks and you have the base perks which are in the game for killer. And I'm going to give you my best teachables build. So for the people that do have the certain teachables that will be in the build or all of the teachables on killer, you can use that build too. First of all, for add-ons in this video, I am going to be using double recharge, but if you don't know the muscle memory for how far you're going to go for how long you hold down the blink for, I recommend you use played flannel in place of the yellow recharge add-on. Okay, so for build one, we have Deerstalker, Nurses Calling, Sloppy, and Tanner. This is the no teachables build. So we have Tanatophobia for every person that is injured, hooked, or downed. There is a 5% penalty to repair speed. Sloppy Butcher. Sloppy Butcher makes it so the survivors bleed more and it takes them longer to heal. Nurse's Calling shows you any survivor healing within a 28 meter range. So you should see the synergy between these three perks. And then Deer Stalker just shows any survivor that's on the ground within 36 meters. There is a lot of synergy between these three perks as well. These three perks are very good for slugging and these three perks are good for slowing the game down and giving you a little bit of information and keeping everybody injured. So without any more hesitation, let's get into the games. Okay, Sanctum of Wrath, not too bad of a map. It's doable. It's not the best in the middle, so we'll try and avoid chasing in that area, but it's definitely doable. Oh, we got an object of obsession user. Okay. I love OO users. It's like you're issuing out a little bit of a challenge. If you use object of obsession in my game, you're challenging me. You're telling me... I think I could have a good chase on you, and that's where I love the challenge. I love people that run object in my game. Okay, I'll try and get a bit of a viewpoint here by blinking up to the top of main. This is basically just how you play this map in general. It's you just use the main building for line of sight constantly to tell you where to go. And then if they ever come across the middle area, you're just trying to get as many tags as they come across. I see the Steve all the way over there. I see someone going for save as well, so I'll go for that. We won't go for the lorry directly off of hook. We'll go for the Nancy though, that I think went back here. Yeah, she's just on that edge. No dead hard on the Nancy, no worries. That's interesting. There's scratches literally right to the hook, but nobody saved. Oh, you're there. That was so confusing. I was literally like, why did somebody come over here and then not save? If it's the lorry, that makes more sense. Because, yeah, she's scared of going down. Okay, so we got the lorry stage two, Nancy stage one. Somebody's on that hook that just saved. We take chase with this near, and right now, essentially, nobody's doing anything unless those people that save pop straight onto a gen. We get a trade on the near. I'm just going to hook straight away. I'm not going to tunnel the lorry out of the game because... In order to double pip or just pip up, tunneling probably isn't the best way to go. You want to essentially get 12 hooks. So I'll get a hook on everyone first before I take anyone out of the game. Oh, almost caught me there. Wow. What? Okay, nice. Good blink. The main thing you're going to struggle with on this build is information on what to do. That's the only thing, because the only thing you have for tracking is nurses. But the playstyle with this build, with these three perks of nurses calling to Natophobia and Sloppy Butcher, is you pretty much want to make it so that everybody in the game is injured at all times. Like, you're not necessarily playing for downs, but you are 100% playing for tags. Like, I switch off of that lorry to go for the near to get 5% regression on every gen in the game. Where did you go, Laurie? What are you doing? Nice. And because I have the leverage of Nurses Calling Deer Stalker, I can slug this. And I know the locations of all four survivors right now. Get the David tagged. See, this is where the build comes into play. 
Now I can get two downs literally right next to each other. Just off of the nurse's calling. Perfect. And I know the Nia is up here in the locker, or she was. So she couldn't have got far. Right there. Okay, we'll take her DS. That's no worries. Okay, I can hook and kill the lorry at this point, because I'm pretty sure everybody's... Oh, somebody's going to pick up. I saw the crow. I don't think he's still here. I think he doubled back. Yeah, he did. Okay. Okay, they probably get a pick up on one of the slugs here. Oh, no, he didn't aggro it. Oh, he healed himself. Okay, best case scenario here then is I'm just going to take someone out of the game. I know the lorry's death hook. I think the Nancy is as well. But I'm just going to hook her and take her out. Hello, David, mate. Oh, they had an unbreakable. Nice. Well played. Damn. I got caught off guard by the sprint burst on the Nancy. Otherwise, I would have got her down there. Notice my playstyle here as well is I'm playing into the ranking system. So I am trying to hook every single person as much as possible. I'm trying to deny the heals. I'm trying to get pressure. And just slow the game as much as possible. Okay, we found the hatch. He's in there. Okay, nice. And the hatch is literally just here. So I can essentially just see if she saves, and then if she doesn't, instantly close the hatch. I see the Nancy. She was on the back of this tree, I'm pretty sure. She'll be about here now. Yep. Uh, are you are growing save. She is. Blink to about here. There. GG! So we got a 10 hook nurse game. Not bad at all. That should give us at least a... That should give us a comfortable pip and maybe a double pip. And this is the build I would recommend if you do have teachable perks. We have barbecue and chili. You see the aura of every survivor on the map that is further than 40 meters from the hook for four seconds after you hook. You have infectious fright. Everybody who is in your terror radius, which is 28 meters for nurse, will scream and reveal their location for six seconds when you down somebody. Sloppy butcher again, which makes them bleed more and takes it longer for them to heal themselves. And pop goes the weasel. It will regress a gem by 25% if you kick a gem within 45 seconds of hooking a survivor. Basically, the mentality for this build is you will not slow the game down at all unless you get tags, hooks, and downs. So it encourages you to play better and will reward you for playing better by giving you gen regression. So without any more hesitation, let's get into the next game. Okay, Wretched Shop, an amazing map for Nurse. It's actually the map I won my first tournament on. So this will be an interesting game for sure. That's all I have to go off. I don't know anything else. I'm not sure if I saw them or not. Yeah, no idea. Literally no idea. I saw the scratches, but they just hid too well. Nice. So why doubling back into the killer does not work. Not work at all. That is one thing that I'll never recommend to survivors, is doubling back into the nurse. Okay, I see two doubled up, and I see one on this gen. Uh, I probably will just pop this one. I think they're gonna get the double up. Yeah. I'll pop this one, and I'll chase the person, uh, here. I'll try and get tags here with my sloppy. I think this person was right here. Did they move? I think they moved. That sucks. If they stayed there, that would have been perfect for me. But now I see two survivors, like, literally right next to each other. So we get a free tag on the Steve. Steve, I might even be able to down. You double back. I waited for his dead hard there. But he literally was just out of range. Somebody's going for save. Okay. I'll go for a tag on the saver. Obviously, this person has a BT or DS off of hook because they aggroed me straight away. All of them are double backing. Literally every single one. That's the person that was just hooked. That's fine. I'll just take another hook here. It's kind of in a dead zone, so I'm fine with rotating this. Okay, I see... 
I think that's two or three. I'm just gonna pop cycle onto it again. Perfect. They're all here. I could end the game now if I wanted to. But I'm gonna play into the ranking system and I'm just gonna carry on hooking. Claude out, aggroing straight away. Probably another DS user. Where do you go, Claude out? I make that. Yeah. Literally just in my range, like perfectly. DS, of course. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna drop chase with her, go back to this gen and pop it. Because I think they're gonna double up on it again. Yep. Okay. That's fine, they committed to that. So they got the gen off, but I'm gonna get a lot of pressure here because I'm just gonna tag everyone. Alright, fuck it, let's take the take her DS. Uh she's Iron War too. Nice, somebody in on main too. They don't make it so they don't get pop, but I don't have to hook them, so it's a win-win. Okay, we'll try and get pop onto this gen. I don't see anybody aggroing it, so we should be fine. Don't see anyone on barbecue either. I'll pop this gen right now. And if I don't see anyone on barbecue, I'm just gonna guess they're gonna be on one of these two. I'm just gonna drop chase. I'm gonna drop chase and just find somebody that will be much easier to down. Like, the Steve's running in an area where there is no gens. So that chase for me just isn't too beneficial. And the Claudette is in main building. Good double back. I should have been more patient and looked through the cracks of the windows, but that's okay. Quarter with a fatigue cancel. Let's go. This is the Zarina, right? Yeah. Nice. They got a pretty good door split. Okay, um, boys, as the last chase of the game is playing out in the background. That will be all for today. I hope you do enjoy the two builds though, and if you are a beginner to nurse, I hope they help you out in your gameplay in some way, shape, or form. Please do let me know if you do have certain teachables or not, and you want to kind of request a build, you can always comment it, and I can try and help you as best I can. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, consider subscribing. It would really help me more than you actually realize, and it would really push me out in the algorithm a whole lot more. If you could, you know, interact with the video, put a comment on it, a like, anything, I would really appreciate it. But in general, thanks you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And once again, thank you so much.